Alright guys, Mudcon, Mudcon.com. Um, today I'm going to show you some tips on Oryx maps and also how to create your own offline maps of your own other than what I sent. Um, first of all, make sure you have the latest Oryx maps downloaded. I believe now it's 7.2.5. You cannot get it from the Play Store anymore. You have to go to his website. Um, long story, I think he explains it on his website. But make sure you do download it from the website. And if you ever do update it to the newest one that he comes out with, the XML file that you changed originally, you'll have to redo that again. So make sure you hold on to that XML file that I sent you. It's the Online Map Sources XML document. Um, the one I had you put a one behind it um, and that's self-explanatory there so first of all to get started what we do is in Oryx Maps open up Oryx Maps let it load um, the first thing I'm going to show you is some tips first um, then at the end being it's a little bit longer I will show you how to create your own maps um, first of all I'm going to I just updated my KMZ file so I'm going to swap out the old KMZ file for the new one uh, which is very easy you put it in your download folder which I'll show you on a second where your download folder is and where your map information folder is in Oryx files and what you want to do is go up to your squiggly flag symbol here which is your map you'll go down to overlay options in overlay options remove overlay that is going to remove my old KMZ file as you can see they are gone <clears throat> you can switch back and forth or have other KMZ files whatever you want to do um, but to put my new one on we're going to go overlay options again load KMZ file and then you'll see here's my old one here's my new one and you may for the first time when you go to do this you may have to see the menu right here on top you may have to go through it I went storage emulent zero and download folder and I'm going to check this one right here once it's checked mash OK down here at the bottom it'll process for a few seconds and it will pull up the new KMZ file with all the updates and there they are uh, the, nothing in here is updated but the rest some of the other map is done all right, this is the download folder when the tablet's hooked to the computer that you can see what's actually in your download folder and that's where the KMZ files will go. All right, and this is all the folders on your tablet and right here is Oryx Maps. When you go into Oryx Maps, you will see Map Files. And that is where you will see all of the custom maps that you make for the background topos and it's also where your XML document will be and the one you will rename and place it with this one to replace it you put a one on the back of the original one there to keep it as a backup put the one I sent you in here and you're good to go all right next thing I'm going to show you is how to turn your GPS on from inside the program so you never have to go into your settings to do it um, the squiggly arrow line right up here that's where you'll control all your tracks and turning your GPS on as far as recording and unrecording and turning your GPS on if you match the squiggly arrow you'll see right here at the very top whenever you get to a ride you want to turn your GPS on mash that it'll take a second it'll come up and show you of the upper display that it's turned on then if you want to start recording you mash start recording right here you leave it running all throughout the day I believe it'll come up and let you name the tracks at the end of the day before you quit riding and load your machine up you definitely want to come back in here and do stop recording <clears throat> that'll give you a, a chance to name it also in a setting in just a second I'm going to show you how to go in so every time you start recording, stop recording, excuse me, it will auto save a GPX file. 
so you don't have to worry about doing it so every ride that you go on or every time you start recording stop recording it will be there all right to set the auto GPX creation um, you want to go into your settings the settings menu is these three dots right up here on the top right hand corner if you go into your settings you'll see global settings go into the global settings you'll come down to tracks and routes inside here the fourth one down you'll see auto GPX creation it was unchecked when I started doing Oryx Maps, but make sure you check that and it will save it every time after you get through stop recording. The next one I'm going to show you is I had a bunch of emails on people saying they couldn't see the waypoints. The waypoints are way too small, they can't read them even when they zoom in. Um, don't know how mine was not that way when I first installed it, but I got playing around with it and you can actually change through the user interface the letter size is what it's called of your waypoints um, what you want to do is go back to your settings go to global settings up top is enter user face under user interface go down to tracks routes lines letter sizes and that's last from the bottom down towards the bottom you will see letter size it is fourth one up from the bottom um, apparently when you first install it letter size is between 16 to 18 from people that's told me I put mine on 42 and it is actually perfect size after you do that you'll definitely be able to read them now the next one I'm going to show you is turn off the track names um, there's so many tracks on a master map um, not every track has a name that makes sense so you really don't want to show it on the map and it also makes it get too cluttered um, little branches off um, little side trails little cut throughs um, yeah, I'm not gonna go in and name every one of them so uh, some of the names don't even make sense so with it being shown it does make it too cluttered so to turn off the track names you go back into settings and go under the global settings fourth one down is maps and go into KM this one's called KML overlay settings and then you'll see right here at the very bottom is overlay path text uncheck that and it will turn off the track names and it'll be less cluttered alright one last thing I'm going to show you before I show you how to create your own map um, the side menus this one here uh, a lot of things are here that are up in the main menus I just find it always easier to find them up in the main menus you have a right bar and you have a left bar uh, they will disappear after a few seconds of not touching them um, to create your maps you can go through the steps to get up to create them um, or you can put a button over here in the right hand corner which I did down here at the bottom it's a same map logo with a plus sign on the bottom how you do that is go into your settings global settings and user interface and go down here to the second one down which is buttons and the button you have custom made your own button bars right here you can see that I have added that button to here and you just scroll through until you find there it is right there the button with the plus sign at the bottom with the map excuse me with the plus sign at the bottom once you mash it it will put it right here in this black area then you'll mash the arrow to the right or to the left and it will automatically put it in there <clears throat> mash the check go back go back go back when the map pulls up you may have to restart the application I believe I did whenever I did this button but then it will show up down at the bottom and you'll just mash it and bam but I'm going to show you the other way just to make it simpler to make the offline map you what you want to do is make sure you are actually on the online map so you have everything shown go up to the map menu go into switch map just verify that you are on the online maps offline map shows you everything that you've created 
switch back to online and go back to your map now to actually make the offline map you can go into the map menu which is a squiggly flag go down to map tools map creator and what you want to do is, is draw you an imaginary square around the area that you want what you want to do is at the very bottom you'll see that the tap screen one one degree corner which is going to be the top left and two degree corner which is going to be the right bottom what you want to do in the one degree corner which is upper left come and tap the screen well above where the tracks are going to be you'll see a red circle come up then go to the two percent which is down at the bottom left hand corner well away make sure all your tracks will be inside once you mash it you'll come up with the square which is going to be your offline maps mash the check mark <clears throat> then it's going to come up and you're going to have to tell it what layers you want you want all of them that way you can zoom in zoom out it'll all be there you've got enough memory on your tablet why not so go ahead and check 0 through 15 and this is a pretty small one so this one's only 45 megabytes it'll tell you the approximate size right there uh, some of them I've had has been three or four or five hundred I think it caps off at 585 or 590 something like that for per map so you may have to make a couple maps for each riding area if it's big enough um, you're going to name the map um, this one's going to be Moscow and Gap and And I'll go ahead and put Arkansas in there so I'll remember where it's at. And I'm going to end it with Topo. Alright. And download. It'll go through the download. What you want to pay attention to is at the very bottom right here it says tiles not downloaded if you have any that shows up there which I've not but if you do you want to go back and redo it again you want to make sure every tile is there so when you're riding you don't come across a blank spot alright when it gets done it will come up and say downloaded correctly that's good accept and once you accept it's going to stay on this screen right here what you have to do is go back it'll bring up your map you're still on line maps remember go back up to the screen uh, the squiggly map <clears throat> switch map now what you want to do is switch over to your offline you'll see you don't see it you'll need to bring it into there which is there's a refresh button which is the arrows going around mash that refresh and bam now it shows up alright guys and gals um, that is it if y'all need any help please feel free to email me. I'll be glad to help you. But hopefully this video will cover a lot of what I've been getting emails on. I can just direct you to the video and it'll answer all your questions and maybe more that you didn't know you had. Anyway, thanks a lot and make sure you like and subscribe. Mudcon.com. Thanks.